Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to define an ellipse, its characteristics, and define its parts. For today, we will be discussing the different theorems involving the origin as the center of the ellipse and theorem 1 and theorem 2 of the equation of the ellipse. So, the equation of ellipse would center at the origin. So we have two theorems. Theorem number one is that the foci is located at Cn0 and F prime C0. Vertices are located at V A0 and V prime negative A0. And this is the equation. Since this is in theorem one, this is now major what? Major horizontal. Why major horizontal? When we say major horizontal axis, our equation is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. And a squared is greater than b. Always remember if, the, uh, if a is greater than b and the denominator which is largest is below x or y for this instance it is below x squared therefore it is major horizontal okay so that is the technique in tagalog kung mas malaki yung denominator ni x major horizontal pero kung mas malaki yung denominator ni y that is major vertical axis uulitin ko po uulitin ko po Nakadepende yung pagkuha ng theorem natin kung sino yung mas malaking denominator. For theorem 1, dahil mas malaki si A kaysa kay B at si A ay denominator ng x squared, we call that major horizontal axis. Ibig sabihin, pag sinabi nating major horizontal axis, yung ellipse natin ay lumalaki sa x. So, magiging ganyan yung itsura niya. Pag sinabi naman nating major vertical axis, Yung A, ang kasama naman niya ngayon, si Y. Okay, Y squared over A squared plus X squared over B squared is equal to 1. Ano ngayon yung magiging itsura ng ellipse natin? Therefore, our ellipse will somehow look like this. Pahaba siya, pataas at pababa. Is that clear? Again, kapag major horizontal, palaki ng paganito. Kapag major vertical, palaki ng pataas at pababa. Major horizontal, palaki ng pakanan at pakaliwa. Major vertical, palaki ng pataas at pababa. So, yun yung difference ng dalawang theorems ng ellipse. So, for this one, sabi the foci is located at C and 0. F prime, C 0. So, for this one, for example, this is, an, this is the major horizontal axis. Okay, this is our ellipse. This is the center located at the origin. This is F, this is F prime, this is F, this is F prime, or let's say this is F prime or F, okay lang kahit magkabaligtad, ayos lang yun. This is our V prime, this is our V. Kung nasaan yung vertices, always remember that that is the major axis. Once again, kung nasaan yung vertices, nasaan yung vertices natin dito? Horizontal. Therefore, what is the major axis? Horizontal is the major axis. At kung nasaan naman yung co-vertices, that is the minor axis. And this is our W and this is our W prime. Okay, so for F, we'll be calling that a C. For V prime, from the center up to B, that is A. From the center up to V, that is also A. Okay, from the center going to F, that is C. From the center going to the co-vertices, that is B. So, this is the major axis. This is the minor axis. For this one, what is the major axis? Vertical. This is a vertical ellipse. This is our V. This is our V prime. This is our F prime. This is our F. This is our W. This is our W prime. Major axis vertical. Therefore, this is our A. This is our C. This is our C. This is our A. Okay. The length of the major is 2A. The length of the minor is, this is 
to B. When you're asked regarding semi, semi minor, semi major, when we say semi major, the length is A. When we say semi minor, the length is B. Because the word semi means it's half. Okay, so we're now discussing theorems 1 and theorems 2 of the equation of the ellipse having the center located at the origin. Let's now have some examples of ellipse. For example, problem number 1. It states here, we need to sketch the following, the following ellipse, showing its vertices and foci. We are given an equation. So if you are given an equation, lagi mong tatandaan, ano yung mas malaking denominator? Is it the one with x squared or is it the one with x with y squared? So for this one, the given is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. x squared over 25, which is greater, 25 or 16? 25. Therefore, 25 is greater than 16. Therefore, 25 is our a squared and 16 is our b squared. Writing the given, a squared is equal to 25. Therefore, what is the value of a? In order for us to get the value of a, we need to square or we need to get the square root of both sides. Square root of a squared is a square root of 25 is plus minus 5. Okay, so Let's now have the b squared. Okay, b squared is equal to 16, right? Therefore, in order for us to get the value of b, we need to get the square root. Square root of b squared is just b. Square root of 16 is plus minus 4. Okay, we're now done getting a squared and b squared. a and b. Therefore, we'll now be solving for the triangle inequality. Okay, when we say triangle inequality, so we'll be having a formula, c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. So this is the one that we will be using in order for us to get the coordinates of the foci. Is that clear? Okay, so since we do not have c squared yet, we'll be having c squared is equal to what is our a squared? That becomes 25, right? Okay, what is our b squared? That becomes 16. Okay, so what is 25 minus 16? We'll be having the value of 9. Therefore, if we have c squared is equal to 9, what is our c now? Square root of 9. And what is the square root of 9? That is plus minus 3. Okay, since we now have the values of A, B, and C, we're now ready to get the coordinates of the foci, the vertices, and the covertices. But before we could get the coordinates of those values, all we have to do is to identify, is it major vertical or major horizontal? Look at the denominator. We have 25 and 16. 25 is greater than 16. And 25... We have x squared over 25. Therefore, we'll be calling this as what? Major horizontal axis. Okay. And when we have major horizontal axis, what do we do if we have a major horizontal axis? Therefore, the foci and the vertices lie on the same line. Okay. If it is horizontal, therefore, foci and vertices are horizontal they are horizontal okay therefore what is the coordinate of the foci let's say f if they are horizontal this becomes c and zero right or let's say plus minus c and zero therefore the foci now is located at what is the value of c plus minus three and zero is that clear for the vertices, the vertices now is plus, minus, A, and 0. Okay, in, sa Tagalog, pinagsama ko lang yung A, ha? So, ginawa ko siyang plus and minus A, pero pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin. Pag pinaghiwalay natin yan, it becomes A, 0, and negative A, 0. Therefore, this becomes V is located where? Plus, minus, what is our A? 5, and 0. And for the vertical value, for the vertical value, we have B. Okay, for B, we'll now be having what? So, that is W located at 0 plus minus B. Therefore, W is located at 0. What is our B? Plus minus 4. 
So let's now graph. Okay, so in graphing, plus minus 3, therefore this is our focus. This is our focus. Together, they're called foci. Okay, so this is our F. This is our F prime. Next, the vertices. Where is the vertices located? The vertices is located at A and 0, and that is plus minus 5 and 0. Positive 5, positive 5. This is V prime. This is V. Okay, so those are the coordinates of our vertices. And for the covertices, which is the minor axis, it is located where? Plus, minus 4. So this is negative 4, we'll be calling that as W prime. This is positive 4, we'll be calling that as W. Okay, so we're now ready to graph our ellipse. So this is now our ellipse. What is the equation of our ellipse? That is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. So this is the answer for the first problem. So let's now have the second problem. So medyo bilisan lang natin ng konti kasi alam na natin ngayon yung pagsolve. Tingnan muna natin. So look at the example. When we're looking at the example, look at the denominator first. Sinong mas malaking denominator? Si x squared or si y squared? This is y squared. Therefore, this is major vertical. So, we'll now be having major vertical axis. Okay. So, a squared is equal to 25. Therefore, a is equal to plus minus 5. b squared is equal to 9. Therefore, b is equal to plus minus 3. Are we clear? Therefore, what is our c? c squared now is equal to what? a squared minus b squared and that is 25 minus 9 and what is 25 minus 9 16 therefore c is equal to plus minus 4 so we're now ready to get the value of the coordinates of the foci vertices and the covertices okay so let's now have first the horizontal coordinates for the horizontal coordinates we'll be dealing with what? With what? Horizontal coordinates. We'll be dealing with B. Since this is major vertical, since this is major vertical, we'll now be having the vertical coordinates will contain the foci and the vertices. For the horizontal, we'll be having the co-vertices. Okay. For the co-vertices, that is now, for the horizontal, that is plus, minus, B, and 0. Therefore, that becomes plus, minus, what is our B? 3 and 0. For the foci, that becomes 0 plus, minus, C. And that is what? 0 plus, minus, C? 0 plus, minus, C is, what is our C? 4 plus, minus, 4. For the vertices, we'll be having 0 plus minus a therefore that is located at zero plus minus five we're now ready to graph okay we're now ready to graph we have three and zero negative three and zero this is r w this is r w w prime w prime this is r w we also have zero and four zero four zero negative four this is our f this is our f prime. How about for vertices? 0 and plus minus 5. This is our v. This is our v prime. So we're now ready to draw the ellipse. Therefore, this is now our ellipse having an equation x squared over 9 plus y squared over 25 is equal to 1. What if we're asked to get the distance or you're asked what is the length of the vertices or what is the length of the major axis when you're asked to get the length of the major axis the length of the major axis that becomes 2a therefore what is the length of the major axis if this is 2a 2 times a what is our a our a is 5 therefore the length is 10 what if you're asked to 
get the length of the minor axis. Minor axis is B. Therefore, that is 2 times 3. The length of the minor axis is 6. Okay, so that is how you get the values of the major and the minor axis. I hope you learned something from the first and the second example of our video tutorial for ellipse. Once again, I am Engineer Jad Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.